Solving system equation has a couple methods, actually three. There's graphing method, elimination method, and substitution method. Here we're going to deal with the elimination method. Eliminate just like the way it sounds. Eliminate means get rid of. Okay, so we're getting rid of one of the variables and reducing two variables into one. Now, the way we do it, it's relatively simple if you think about it. Okay, so let's copy everything here. Minus 4y equal to minus 8. So what I want to do is I want to eliminate y. Now, which one you want to eliminate it doesn't really matter much so long you pick one. And once you pick one variable you want to get rid of, you want to do is make the signs, the coefficient, the number in front of the variable to be the same and opposite. The reason you want to be the same and opposite is so you can add them together. Okay, let's try it. Uh, I have a minus 4 here, so what I want to do is I want to uh, multiply it two on both sides so I can get it into a positive 4y over there. So in this case I have 6x plus 4y is equal to 8. Okay. The next case I have minus 6x minus 4y equal to minus 8. Now ordinarily we don't have the two numbers exactly the same. This is actually a special case. So when you add the two you end up with 0 equal to 0. A lot of students ask me, well what does that mean? I don't have any variables left. That's exactly right. So all this is saying that there's all solutions. All numbers are solutions. Okay. So it's not only just one solution. Uh, later on, as you learn a little more, a graphing method, graphing method, this is always saying that those two lines, each one of the equation represents a line. Those two lines are identical right on top of each other. So there's an infinite man many. Actually, now let's put an infinite. Infinite number of solutions, okay? Um, if you had gotten in a case where two lines are parallel and then there's no solution because there's no point that's intercepting both of lines. And vast majority of the cases you are running into is actually two lines intercept at one point. That gives you one solution. So for this particular case, there's an infinite number of solutions. Um, a lot of students then ask me, well, what do you mean infinite number of solutions? Well, let's take a look. If you have a 3x plus 2y equal to 4, Okay. If I tell you I want my x equal to 0, then you can go in there and solve what y is. So 3 times 0 is 0, so 2y equal to 4, then y is going to be a 2. That's a solution. Okay. If I want my x to be 1, and then I have 3 times 1, and 4 minus that number, that's 1, so I have a half. That's also a solution. So at least it goes on and on and on. All right. So for this particular problem here, you have infinite number of solutions. All right. Have a confident day.